What's going on, members of the barrio? It's John, and today we're gonna be exploring one of the cheapest food phenomenons in New York City, dollar pizza slices. I'm gonna be visiting five different places, taking the dollar pizza challenge. We're gonna be ranking each of them, coming up with a winner. Before we begin, I wanna make sure that you're subscribed and have notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of my adventures from around the world. I brought Adriana along as my assistant for today, and you know, you're not the biggest pizza fan, but are you ready for this? Yeah, but I'm absolutely ready. Let's do it, first one. Stop number one is in Midtown. We're going to a place called One Dollar Pizza, aptly named, and uh, let's get this party started. Looks delicious. Okay. Then. So guys, here's how this is going to work. I'm gonna be ranking each place between a one and a five, denoted by those pizza slices below. And we got really lucky with stop number one. These are fresh out of the oven. So here we go, first bite of the day. Mm. This is good. This is really good. I need like two or three more bites to make opinion. Right now, I'm not overwhelmed by anything, which is really important for a dollar pizza slice. You don't want too much cheese, you don't want too much sauce, you don't want it super hot, super cold. It's just right. I'm gonna go with a four here. Now, I haven't tried the other ones yet today, but we are off to a really good start. I like the fact that it's crunchy. Yeah, pretty good for one dollar, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, really crunchy. Pretty good. The bar has been set pretty high after stop number one. We're gonna be hopping all around Manhattan. Stop number two is by Canal Street, so we've gotta take the subway downtown. We are almost at stop number two, and I do want to note how I selected these locations. I actually picked five spots off of Yelp.com that had pretty good reviews, so I didn't want to waste my time in any really bad spots. Joey's Pepperoni Pizza. Loving this South Park style mascot here. Dollar in price, but not dollar in size. These are definitely bigger than the last ones, no? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Alright guys, here we go. Taste test number two. A little heavy on the cheese, I'm gonna say. Leave another bite to determine the score though. Not loving it. I'm going with two. Good size. Good size if you're hungry, but actual taste compared to the last place we were at, definitely leaning on that one. This one is a little bit crispy, and it's not crunchy. So All right, stop number two is in the books. We're gonna be heading to the East Village for stop number three. Gotta hop on the six train, and this place was actually the highest rated on Yelp. We are at Two Bros Pizza in the heart of the East Village on St. Mark's. Uh, this is actually a chain, but I've personally been to this place before, so I'm excited to see how it matches up now that I've already tried two other spots. Normally, this is what I order at a place like this. Love the chicken slices. Two, uh, two dollar slices? Two things I've noticed about this pizza. One is that it's probably the thickest slice so far. Two, it also looks like the greasiest one. But the taste uh, will be the judge. So here we go. Pretty good. I like the crunchiness of this. Very hot as well. One more bite to determine. Solid, I'm gonna give us three. Somewhere in the middle right now. Um, I really do like the, thick, the thickness of his crust though. It's greasy, but it's crunchy. Better than the last one. We are leaving the East Village and heading to Greenwich Village for our final two stops on the Dollar Pizza Challenge. So it's all walking distance from here on out.
Adriana's tapped out. You're done. No mas? No mas pizza. Okay. All right, guys, we're stop number four. We're going to 99 cent fresh pizza. Uh, this is kind of what I envision a dollar pizza place to be like. It's tiny, get in, get out. Thank you very much. This one kind of reminds me of like a high school cafeteria style pizza. A little greasy, thickness is okay, but let's give it a whirl. Crunchy, a little heavy on the cheese though. I'm gonna go with two out of five on this one. Nothing special, but again, for a dollar, get in, get out. And I'm also amazed at how busy these places can be, how quickly they get their customers, their slices. Seems like a really good business model. One more slice to go, and we are actually heading to my favorite dollar pizza place because it is the closest to my apartment. We're gonna see, am I gonna look at Percy's in a different light after trying four other dollar slices beforehand? This is what you do when it comes right out of the oven. So Percy's has to at least tie or beat the uh, the four star ranking I gave to Dollar Pizza Midtown. Here we go. Wow, actually very good. It's gonna be closer than I thought. Good uh, cheese to sauce ratio. Crunchy, give it another bite. I'm gonna give this four, but I'm still gonna give the victory to Dollar Pizza in Midtown just by a little bit if I had to pick between these two. Percy's, you deserve four stars for a very solid dollar slice. All right, members of the barrio, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to look at Dollar Pizza the same way again after trying five different places, but Dollar Pizza is the winner, so definitely check them out uh, on 9th Ave between 50th and 51st Streets. Well worth the trip, trust me. Uh, tell me in the comments if you like this challenge, what your favorite place was, or if they have Dollar Pizza where you come from. Make sure to like and certainly subscribe to Here Be Bar for more adventures from New York City and around the world. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. 不是看到大牛公，我难得的不一样。现在昨天中午，我都帮侬讲了，我们就帮侬讲了，我们大牛不打命了。